goes in the top, and you have to let it preheat. Otherwise, you can't do anything with it. I'll bring that oil can over here, and I'll oil a couple of these easy oil points while we're waiting for that to, to melt. Okay. In each one. This oil can, of course, is way too big for the task. And some on this roller here. Not very many. And some underneath here. Just a drop or two. That's lots. And then underneath here. What's that? Well, that's the oil cap. Yes, and underneath here. So the oil cap is all, yeah, let's see. And this one we've done already. Mm -hmm. And I'm going on from there. Now, I'll reposition this. And we'll see if this will fit. Yes, it is. And you just do this. Okay, you want me to do that? Or oh, you're good? Do the wheel bit. And you keep on doing this until you reach the bottom. And this is scraping off the dirt on the inside walls of the well. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is called a reamer. It doesn't look like a reamer. It looks ridiculous. Oil on your brush and put some down on the bottom because there's a... Okay, just a second. Well, now we repatch this, and then we paint the outside. With oil? This goes back. And again, same routine. This won't go anywhere until it's hot. Give me some oil in the bottom. It's dirtier. Why was the linotype cleaner? Because it didn't use oil. It didn't? No. Really? See, we're almost ready. Not okay. quite. Mm -hmm. you, and you don't want to force anything? No, no, no. Is that straight? Wow, it's going down. Gotta just get it quite there. I see. Okay. See, did you see it rise up? It did. Why? Because that's how clean the hole is, and steel will float. The steel will float in lead. All right. You push it down, not too hard, a little careful. Okay. And those pins go back. Yep. They're not locked at all, then. Yes, they are. And I'll show you where. See that slot there and that slot there? Yes. If you come around, you'll see a corresponding slot in the pot pin. Okay. We're both coming around here. See that dinky little slot there? Yes. Well, when this come down, comes down, that engages that. It's locked now. It can't move. Okay. Now, again, we're going to have to tidy up here a wee little bit. Oh, hell, I'm just going to put it here. Is it okay to uncover the mouthpiece now? Yes, because it, it can't go up and down by itself. Ah, okay. So that's important, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You don't remove the anvil, or the, the, the what is it called? The mouthpiece cover until... That's right. Until the plunger's assembly is reassembled. Yes. Now, I had this and this before. I've had it up and down a couple of times. But really, I'm going to... Nope. I'm going to look at you see how it's it's worn and burned away? Yes. So we'll we'll help we'll help stop that from happening. If I lay it down, I'm putting putting this ugly oil on it. That's plenty. That's really? plenty. Yeah. Now it's a dirty, filthy job. Nobody likes to do it, so almost nobody ever does it. Except me. Oil that thing like that. Why does it burn? Because it's well, not because oiled it enough. Because it rubs over top. It rubs over top of the mouthpiece and the casting action of the machine. Oh, and what does that thing do? That piece that we just you just put oil on? It wipes the top of the mouthpiece. It wipes the top of the mouthpiece. And how often does that have to be replaced? Uh, every week, something like that. I've got lots of spare. Well, you have to replace it almost every week. Mm, no, not no. 
Even for me, in the small amount of casting I did, every two weeks was plenty. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Wow.